Doug King's just made himself a very unpopular man. This is just one of the most baffling decisions anybody has made in football. So our chances of relegation have just skyrocketed. Simon, reacting to the news that Mark Robbins has been sacked by Coventry City, I am beyond heartbroken. I'm absolutely gutted. This is one of the worst decisions a football club has ever made. I cannot believe Doug King's decided to do this. It's only days since we beat Middlesbrough three 0 away from home. Since we came back from Luton, uh, came back from two 0 down against Luton to beat him three two. We've had a bad performance against Derby, and he sacked a manager who has done absolutely everything for this club. It's like six months since we were a penalty shoot hour away from an FA Cup final. It's just over eighteen months since we were a penalty shoot hour away from the Premier League. We were so dead and buried before he came to the club down and going down to league two attendance is dwindling no care no structure barely a training ground like uh, it, this is just one of the most baffling decisions anybody has made in football in the last decade i cannot believe this is the way things have gone um doug king came in was riding the wave of what robbins has created he had yokerez robbins found yokerez he had hamer robbins found and we sold them on for big profit due to Mark Robbins. He was the one who found them. He has been the reason we've been able to invest 40 million in the playing squad right now. Um, and yeah, and he's paid the price for having a reasonably poor start to the season, even though it looked like we'd kind of turned it around. It felt like the restructuring at the club this summer meant Robbins was isolated. We got rid of AD Vivash, got rid of... Dennis Lawrence left, wasn't offered a new deal. The people he trusted around him were taken away and replaced with younger, inexperienced coaches. That hasn't worked. And instead of restructuring behind the scenes, he still doesn't have an assistant manager, didn't have an assistant manager. Doug King's decided to sack the man at the top. I've never seen a reaction to a manager sacking as negative as this. Um, all of the comments disagree with it. Doug King's just made himself a very unpopular man. And it's difficult to see how things get better for us here rather than worse. Our chances of relegation have just skyrocketed, in my opinion. Um, I, there wasn't a chance we were getting relegated under Robbins. I think we'd have probably challenged in the top 10 yet again come the end of the season. This is when we tend to get going and Doug's panicked. He's pressed the panic button and it's going to cost us. It's cost us a connection which is so rare in football in the modern era. How many managers are there for seven, eight years? How many managers get to take their team from League Two to the Premier League? How many managers get to turn the entire club around? Mar Robbins was Coventry City. And who are we going to get next? Who, who even cares at this point? Because whoever comes in, it's going to be massively negative, the reaction for him. Because he's not Mar Robbins. Mar Robbins has been this club in, in recent times. I'm so angry at the short-sightedness of football, at the short-sightedness of this owner, and the short-sightedness of everyone. It's so rare to have an own, a manager there who has such a big connection with the players over seven years. We're just going to become the next Stoke. And I don't mean that to disrespect Stoke. They have a new manager every two years and they bounce around the championship. If we're lucky, we'll be Stoke. If we're not lucky, we'll be Birmingham and relegate to League One. Um, fuming. I'm absolutely fuming. I cannot believe this is how it's turned out. Um, yeah, absolutely shocking. Oh, I feel like a massive part of my football club has gone this morning on a completely rash decision with no forward thinking or forward planning. Mar Robbins, you're a legend. I love you. I will always always love you. The best manager I've seen at Coventry in my lifetime. Made us dream. Wembley visits, four of them. Amazing. And yeah, I'm, I'm really, really upset um, by the whole thing. Um, but that's, that's really all I've got to say on it right now.